been up i know it seems like i haven't i have been up i'm gonna mute this i don't know if this is gonna be a part of another video or this is a new video but your girl had a crazy day yesterday so i'm just in recovery because i went to target yesterday and when i left target it was just yesterday was just a bad day you know how you have those days that just everything goes wrong that was yesterday. Uh, if you see, if the other clip is a part of this, I um, went to Walmart yesterday because they had a lab basically and I needed to do drug testing for a job that I applied for. So I went to go do the drug test, which went fine. The drug test and all that went pretty fine. It's not like I know the results, but I know the results will be fine. Cause you girl don't do drugs but it just feel like everything i did yesterday it was just like a journey like i would go to walmart to go get the wipes and stuff like that for the video and like one of the wipes wasn't scanning then the lady didn't have like print out my receipt and then she couldn't print out my receipt so i had to go to customer service and if y'all go to walmart y'all know customer service is always a bat out of hell so i was standing in customer service for like 30 40 minutes waiting on a receipt that i needed for the video basically if it wasn't for the video i wouldn't have stayed that long i did that finally leaving there i went to target to go get more wipes and they were out of a lot of wipes and I'm just like really though like really though that was so annoying but one of the things I wanted to mention before I got Nala and Noel up is this baby walker I, I did do a separate video about the baby walker but I want to do an update so y'all guys seen the baby walker and Noel does really like it. But I think that I might be returning this baby walker. I think I might be. Um, because I love the toys on it. And I do. But I didn't realize when I got this particular one. That the weight to adjust the height. Was these clips back here. And I know it's a little blurry. But I can't hold this in and do it. The way to adjust the height is that way, but that doesn't work because you know my baby is tall. So when you do it like that, it ends up pushing her forward. Plus my baby got the thigh. So when I went to Target yesterday, I seen this other baby walker that I was already contemplating between the two before I got this one. And they are dressed on the side. So I think I like that idea a little bit better. So I think I'm going to be taking it back. But that's really all that happened yesterday. I was just so over it. Uh, but I do want to explain more in detail about the job thing if I wasn't clear. If I was clear, then you won't even see this clip. But basically, I am getting a job due to wanting the girls to be in daycare. The girls are, are ready to grow. They are ready to learn. And I feel like we're overwhelmed. We're stretched a little thin. And what do I feel like I want to cry? Is this a crying moment? I don't think so. Girl, get it together. But I feel like we had this agreement. We had this vision on what we wanted our future to look like as of right now like the next five years and that was me not working me taking care of the kids you know the dream was to you know teach them and they'll grow and you know everything would just be great and they'll, they'll be home there won't be no sickness 
There won't be none of that. And then you do it and reality hits and it sets in like my kid isn't developing at their fullest potential because I don't have the energy to invest in teaching. I don't think I have the capabilities because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to teach and I am teaching, but you know, kids are like a sponge right now and they want to learn, they want to learn, they want to learn. And sometimes I'm just tired. I did start taking iron pills to start helping with my tiredness. I always been a super exhausted person when I'm doing something. And with me also staying up late at night, trying to get stuff done, doing YouTube, keeping the house together, taking care, help taking care of two girls. David has been amazing. And us never getting a break. Like y'all seen our one date night. Like we only have one date night and that's it. In two years. The last time we went out or had like a vacation or anything was our honeymoon in 2016. I think with all that being said is I guess the reality hit that maybe if we can't do it we might have to search for someone else to do it and it's a scary thing right now because you know COVID is still happening but at the same time we don't have no signs of vaccines for the kids yes there's vaccines going on right now but they won't be for a long time and right now my kids are developing so we're considering you know doing more and more research we have been doing research on daycares that they can go to but you know we're, we're still searching but the biggest thing is i want to talk about is like the way that i feel and i almost feel like i'm failing like why why can't i just do it all but i'm also realizing i am really in transition with the person I am and the person that I want to become. And I think I want to start to develop a little bit more within myself. And I am a, a very much a realist. And right now I am feeling like I'm a little bit incompetent and I feel like I really want to do all this. I want to be able to do everything, but there's other sides of it too. Like when I see my kids finally get around other people, it's like, you know, seeing them not being friendly, seeing them don't know how to share, seeing them don't know some etiquette seeing them consistently drop stuff on the floor, like throwing things, getting tantrums. And there's just certain things I feel like I can't teach my kids because they need to be around people and different things to learn. And we don't have people around us like that. This is prior to COVID. We don't have family that live close. So we have like a, a few good friends that come around and see them, but it's just not enough. And the way that I see the girls. The way. The way I see. Especially Nala light up when she around other people it's, or other kids or other energy it hurts because it makes me feel like I'm holding her back and a lot of it's not my fault because it's not my fault if there's not like family around it's not my fault if it's just us you know just don't live close so 
when I see, you know, every time it does happen, she gets so happy. Especially when she's doing different stuff and she's around different people. She's around different environments. She's around other kids. She just gets so excited. You know, I just want to give her more of that. Because she deserves to be around other people. They both do. And I know what it feels like to not. And I don't want that for my kids. So, if it's just them, the only thing we can do is help. You know, put them around other kids at least one or two days a week or something like that. Where they can, you know, have the little fun. The way that my house is laid out. I don't have, like, a backyard that is safe. Especially with my anxiety. I have, like, a lake. have alligators in it sometimes. So, I don't really let, you know, go outside because of that. Because I always have visions of something happening with the lake and stuff like that. And we don't have a fence. And we're not in a place to get a fence right now. I do not expect to cry. But we don't have, you know, the means to to do a lot of extra stuff. When, when You don't think about this, but when you're home, you kind of got to turn your home into your daycare, into the playhouse, your everything. You have to have different levels. And I wish I, I did have a fence. I could put a place set outside and playhouses and stuff like that. But we don't have that right now. And especially that we didn't get that before and that was an option before. I can't get it now that I'm not working. So that brings it down to how we got here and the reasons that we're looking for daycare. I just think that, you know, as much as we need a break, they need a break too. And they should have fun and life isn't this serious. So... We're going to be back on that journey on them going to daycare. But if you guys have been in a situation like this where you thought, you know, you was going to keep your kids with you and be a stay at home mom and all that stuff. I do think that, you know, we will transition back to here for where I am a stay at home mom and maybe in about six months, maybe to where they can leisurely leave and stuff like that when a lot more debts paid. But right now, this is what it is. If you have been through something similar, you know, comment down below. Tell me how that you got through it, how you were able to deal with everything and going back to daycare or even if you're dealing with it now, like how is it with everything going on with your kids in daycare, but you gotta work, but there's a whole pandemic out. Like, like I just need help, I need encouragement, I need guidance. I just want the best for my girls. And because I, we're not in a place to give them their best, I feel like we have to make sure they get it some kind of way. And until we are in a place and in in capable of doing it ourselves, we need help. And the only help we have is putting them in daycare and try to redevelop our life, redevelop our relationship so that we are able to be the best parents that we can be. So I think I'm just going to leave this conversation as its own video. I was planning on vlogging throughout the day, but I definitely want, you know, this to be a conversation in its own form. So let's have conversation. Let's talk if you ever felt this way and have been here where I am and how you were able to get past it. So thank you for the advice. Thank you for the future support that I know that you guys will give, you know, Nala's almost two, Noel's almost one, and this is how it's been since Nala's been born. So we've been duking it out on our own forever with no break, and I, I don't think that's healthy. So even though I don't want to, it's time for me to put them in daycare and for me to go back to work. So yeah, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Till next time.